Pick a person, so let's pick a person. Margaret. Margaret Schuster. Now let's see, is she any of our three people? No, she's not. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games for Cakes and welcome to Need to Know the Mass Surveillance Thriller game. Oh my god, I couldn't wait for this game. I backed it on Kickstarter back in February 2016, and the guys finally released their very first alpha version 0.7. Now this is very, very alpha. It's a taste of what the game is going to be like. In this game, you ascend through the ranks of the NSA-like Department of Liberty. Will you stand up for privacy or help create an unstoppable police state? The game is very, very much, it's, it's a lot different, but it's very much like Papers, Please, but it is a hell of a lot a different take on it, like, but it has the same kind of mechanics that you're used to. You go into work every day, you have to do your duties, you get into conflict with your morals or whatever, and make certain decisions, except instead of letting people into the country, you're policing everybody in the world. So y your job is much bigger than that. You also have your personal story, your personal life, which goes on at the same time and can affect your job. So there is that part as well. So, but it is absolutely fantastic to finally see this game having an alpha. Now in this alpha, this alpha is named the skeleton key. Now this alpha was specifically designed as to give you a taste of kind of everything just in a more scaled down version. So I'm gonna read this straight off the Kickstarter page. In Skeleton Key, we've tried to give you a thorough taste of the full game, complete with a standalone story. However, it is an alpha and so it is rough around the edges and doesn't show the breadth of the, uh, the, the, breadth of the story. Character and gameplay we're planning for the full game. So basically there is gonna be obviously a full story in the fight excuse me, in the final game, but they don't want to give away any of that. So they have this specifically designed little story for that alpha, which is amazing. Now, of course, the game is not going to have every single thing that the final version is going to have, but they wanted the alpha to be as complete as possible in the sense, in its own right, so that you get a very good taste of what the game is going to be like. Now, if you're not familiar with Paper Please, there will be help along the way. If you are familiar with Paper Please, a lot of things will you will find very similar. And I will probably use that game as a reference to some of the features the game has to offer. Now, we're going to start a new agent. I already played a little bit just to see how the game works. It is a lot of fun. New agent, authenticating. Need to know, skeleton key. So we can't do this right now. This is Roger Hale, he's calling us. The only choice we have right now is to hang up. July 19th, 2019, Friday. Hey, look who's back. Ouch, wanna tell me what happened with your eye? So this is Jessica, if you look at the bottom right here, that's our desk, okay? So we're working at our desk and this is Jessica talking to us. Okay, we obviously look like shit, so something happened. Uh, our name is Vincent Hale. We are level nine or I think whatever they were, I don't know how this is exactly rated. We are in the current NSA equivalent, the Department of Liberty, we are at level nine. Also, please note here, this is the development version, need to know alpha. So it's definitely alpha. I keep stressing that. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Now we have three choices to respond. Um, I don't know how the bearing of those choices. I don't know if we completely basically are rude every time to people that that has an effect in the long run on the story, but we'll see. You know me, just a casual baroon brawl in between MMA bouts. Uh, not the time, Jessica, definitely not the place. Any news I need to catch up on? Yeah, I gotta keep it professional because uh, I don't know what my relationship with her actually is. So I'm just gonna keep it professional. Say, hey, not the time or the place, girl. Definitely not the place. <laughs> Any news I need to catch up on? Everything is the same, just more so. Oh, but watch out for Joyce. That's nothing new, he's always got to stick up his... <laughs> oh, Mr. Hale. Good to see you. Wasted no time in wasting the department's time. Randall Joyce. So he's obviously been a bit of a prick. Uh, Mr. Hale. Good to see you. Um, internal sigh, great to be back part of the team again, but it's not actually pronounced <laughs> it's actually pronounced Halle. Okay, uh, Mr. Joyce, so I don't know what my standing is with him, but he's obviously a douchebag. Um, it's just super <laughs> to have a chance to defend our great nation once again. Small point, sir, but it's pronounced, yeah, let's keep it like that. Small point, sir, but it's pronounced Halle. It's been, what, a month or two? 
do you remember how to do your job? So obviously something happened. We mustn't have been in our job for the last two months. Maybe that's why we look like crap, because actually something happened. Um, do you need me to hold your hand? I think I'll manage, sir. Yeah, actually, let's be polite as possible in a sarcastic way. I appreciate the offer, Mr. Joyce, but I think I have it under control. Well, that's too bad, Hale. Or Halle. Halle? 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 I don't know. I don't trust you after what happened. The department doesn't trust you after what happened, so let's start with something nice and remedial, okay? Excellent. So, in regards to the interface, this is your phone. On your phone, you're gonna have certain things. Now, this is more for your personal thing. You get messages, phone calls, emails, and then, of course, you have the news. So, if we look at our phone, we can check our phone. You can see here that we have the news reader, we have our bank, and the moment we have pretty much no money. We have $500 in the bank and that's it. Um, time, it tells us the time, not very interesting right now, it's 9 o'clock. Shopping was what? So we can't send anything. Imagine that my email app is broken. <laughs> Shopping was what? We have no money. Messenger, um, that's where we can check if we have any messages, there's in the moment nothing. Then we have the hyper bank, which you already seen, the news feed, which is basically uh, DOL continues, Department of Liberty continues with jurisdiction trial, ceasefire in Venezuela civil war, all that stuff, any news that might be important. Now you might see that that is the kind of same setup as in paper, please, was your newspaper that you had, except you have a couple of other things. You have Hootbox, which they use. Okay, it's not used for shopping. It's kind of like a, a weird, like a Twitter app or something. I have no idea. And then your calculator and settings for your phone. Now let's get back out of here. And on the left-hand side, you see how you are doing. This is your card. This is your status. Now it looks all very overwhelming, but it actually isn't that bad. You have your finances, which we already seen. Your social aspects, your phone, your finance again. Finances again. Okay, some of the l logos seem to not refresh properly. The the tooltips, but that's okay. Um, email and then power access, safe or threat. So this will all make more sense as we play. My certain, my current salary is 37K. I'm of clearance level nine, that's what I am. And obviously the higher your clearance level, the better. Or the lower your clearance level, I think eight one, I suppose the lower the better. Uh, our title is agent, our performance statistics, we haven't done anything yet, and our rating is undetermined. As you have recently returned to work, we have cleared your performance review history pending further performance. Excellent. So we just leave this place. We just click here in the middle to get back to work. I think, is it? Oh, we click back on the card. And this is also other ranks, other information that is going to be important. And then here we have what's going on in the department, where we have information about the department itself, which is the restriction, the restrictions we have, um, a mission statement, the offices that the, that the Department of Liberty owns, the employees, alert level is medium. All this makes very little sense to me as well in the moment, but it kind of gives you a rough idea about the country's state according to the data they have. And it's very scary that you actually can see that there's 14 million suspects on the list out of 333 million population. So yeah, it's Big Brother watching you. Now let's log into the system and let's start the game. So as you can see, pretty much like again, I can, I'm gonna bring it up, not because I think the game is copying it, absolutely not. The game is fantastic in its own right, very much. And you can see it's huge, yeah, in the design aspect. So Papers, Please uh, was very limited and very small in design, but it's still a fantastic game. But like that game, you have your personal life going on, your personal stories and your, your ranks and your work. At the same time though, you're also gonna have to, okay, put my password in. You also have to, you know, work and do your job. There you go. Now, this is uh, your operations, <laughs> Operation Water Wings. Now, this looks very overwhelming, but actually, it's not that much. All it really tells you is that how the game works, okay? When you look at a suspect, you select the suspect node on the code map, which is basically one of those dots here on the map. You And that is basically the person you want to investigate. Once your suspect profile is open, you have certain things available to you, certain tools. In the moment, we only have... Um, a suspect tool, which basically marks a person uh, as a person of interest. And then we have a black sheep tool, which basically marks a person for being very bad, uh, to keep it very simple. Um, you click on the relevant evidence, uh, just again, as in papers, please, you use your tools, you click on the tools and you mark the evidence uh, uh, that you want to highlight and check if that is gonna be an issue or not. In the end, you're going to have to, you can also flag people if there are, um, uh, not posing a threat, but maybe there's something that we should keep an eye on, so we flag them, which basically means um, it's not an incriminating 
task. It's just flagging for suspicion. When you believe you identified all available suspicious topics for a person, you research tag uh, and research targets, select the decision button. And that's when you basically say, access denied or you're fine. It's basically that principle. So if we look at this, this is basically the three tools we have, the two tools we have, black sheep tool and flagger tool. Why do we black sheep someone? Well, if they talk about something like M800, M1000 or Concerned Citizens Alliance, we mark them as black sheep. They're a person of interest if they have, if they are any of these three people. And the research targets, again, if they talk about anything in their social media, about DOL president or Morgan Dollar, then we mark them as a person of interest. Now, I'm only going into a lot of detail because it's the first time you guys are seeing that. And um, let's begin the assignment. And it can be overwhelming, but obviously as we go along, there will be less of the whole explanation and less waffle on my side, on my part. So this is your tools. You basically um, have to pick a person. So let's pick a person, Margaret. Margaret Schuster. Now let's see, is she any of our three people? No, she's not. Now Margaret Schuster, she's female, she is born on this date. Now we don't have to check dates now, which we had to do in papers, please. And believe me, every time I looked at the date, I was like, oh, where's my tool? I need to check if she's the right age. Um, this is the decision button, which we have not to make yet. This is the web button where we can see her internet history, her browser history. We open that. We have a social media which we can open and we have finance, her finance records which we can open. Now, looking at this, we can see in her browser history that she is visited 16 times the Concerned Citizen Alliance. And if we look here, it says, oh, we have to mark people as black sheep if they are talking about these topics or have anything to, excuse me, to do with these topics. So we're going to mark, oh, silly hiccup. We're going to click on our black sheep tool, click on that and mark her as a black sheep because of that. Now, we have to make sure that if there's anything else in there, that we also mark that. So just marking it once and saying, hey, she's she's fine. That's not everything. Now, also, we have to see here, what is that? Purchases, Department of Living Purchase Report. Um, okay, so she got some reading classes, some fabrics and some... That's just some bangers, really. And Alts Roadstop Salute. M oh, there, M1000. So she actually purchased the M1000 salute. So we have to mark that as well. Can we mark it? Can we select it? So we have to click in a very specific spot here. There we go. Now it's clicked, I think. There we go. Nice. So this is a very specific, a very tiny area here on that receipt that we have to flag them. Excellent. She's flagged now for both. Now on a hotbox, let's see. I would like to send a video to my nephew on the hotbox. Okay, we don't care about that. Hello Val, hope you're well. Nice weather today, my sister. Nothing suspicious there. So now we're gonna say she's a threat because we had to black sheep her twice. And that's how this works, okay? That's exactly how it works. Now, these things change, of course, every day. Just like in Papers, Please, your criteria changes. And then you have to mark the people for different reasons. Things get tighter, the country gets more uh, is suspicious of things, and so on and so on. Now, let's see what Wendell Berry has to say. Now, we only have to look at two people, I think. So let's just check here. One of two suspects processed. Excellent. So um, let's see what his web and his phone and his email is. Email phone and browser history. What to do in New York, Met Museum exhibitions, Hamilton ticket sales. Okay, Alice, uh, always great to hear from a fellow co collector. Morgan Dollar. Oh, I can let the 18, let me see, 1878 Morgan Dollar. I don't even know what that means, okay? I don't even have a clue what Morgan Dollar means. It's probably, is that a thing? Go for Liberty C to dollars. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I just know that we have to flag it. So let's do that and flag it here. Checking evidence. Yes, evidence flag, brilliant, beautiful, sweet. Is there anything else? Hey, Bud, big favor, if anyone asks, I was chilling with you tonight. Hold on, Smalls, why? Poker night, Jill's not a fan. Okay, gotcha, thanks, Chief. So that was Poker Hamilton ticket sales. Is there anything else, his name? Is his name on the list? No, it's not. Okay, I don't think he's a threat. As it said, flagging people is not incriminating, so we're gonna mark him as safe. And that's it. All suspects process, submit for review. Now, um, hello, sir, I've completed the assignment. Please report, uh, <laughs> please see my report attached. Now, in general, this is because this is your training mission when you start, in general, you will have more people to process. Absolutely, there will be a huge amount of people to process. Like every week, you have to process like 10 people or something. And that's kind of similar as in the queue in Papers, Please, where people keep coming in automatically instead. But instead of you having them come in automatically, you have to select them from a map, which is really nice. So let's just see, we submit the analysis. 
Here we go for processing. And time moves on. And we get our report. Okay, evidence correctly identified. Two out of three. Why only two out of three? Appropriate decisions, one out of two. Oh, that's not good. Few breakdown. So she's a threat. That's a four compliance. And this was perfect. Total compliance, eight. What did we mess up? Evidence missed? What? Why was that evidence? Hold on, Smalls. Why? I don't get this. He's not safe. Oh, Smalls. Oh, balls. Let me see that. Let me just check something here again. Oh, I can't see the rules anymore. Was he one of oh, Smalls? Was he one of the names that was suspicious? Oh, man. I bet you that is his nickname because it's Wendell Berry. And then he says, hold on, Smalls. Why? Oh, man. We messed that up. It's a pity I can't see the rules anymore because it would be great to see what we actually had. But that's what we missed. Anyway, so there we go. Let's go to the end of the breakdown. And that's it. Can we, com can we send it in? Is it finished? Oh, there, compliance change. There we go. We had to click on that. I didn't know that. Oh, I forgot it anyway. I knew it before. Now we got a plus $40 salary bonus. Very nice. For compliance, 50% over compliance. That is sweet. End session. Operation Water Wings. Assignment complete. Margaret Schuster, electronic surveillance increased. Wendell Berry, consorts with known radical but seems unaware to be monitored. Okay, so Smalls was the issue. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that. Not so hard now, was it Hale? Haley, I don't know. I know how to do my job, you patronizing asshole, which is more than I can say for you. <laughs> I think I would love to say that, but I think we don't want to get into waters right now and work. So you can see him stand actually there talking to us. I love this. This is really nice. I love his pin is overfilled. He's like, oh, whatever, I don't give a shit. You said it, sir. Like riding a bicycle. One last thing, the department is now entering a jurisdictive trial jurisdictive trial period. Do you understand what that means? No. Uh, hold on to your seatbelts for an intelligence community terror territory war. I'm guessing that means we'll be looking for more than just explosive ent enthusiasts who hate our way of life. For two weeks, we'll have the, we'll have the opportunity to investigate less urgent crimes, not just terrorism. This is a tremendous development. Our department could be doing it for much, much longer, provided we don't fuck it up. I'm sure the department is delighted. Let's keep conversation short with him. I really don't like the guy. Yes, sir. Consider this an order from the very top. Do not fuck it up. <laughs> Excellent. Well, now that you say it like that. Okay, Jessica, feel like a drink. Okay, uh, yes, I think I have to take a right. Oh, yes. I think I have to take a rain check. Oh, that's his thought. So he thinks yes. So he does like her, obviously. Um, I think I have to take a rain check. Maybe next time I'm publicly humili hum humiliated by my asshole boss. I'd actually love to. This is why I end up stuck on the couch. Appreciate it, Jessica, but I don't think I can tonight. I think I just need to head home and sit in the dark for a while. No, I think this is the most uh, nicest one. Appreciate it. Thanks. But I don't think I will do it tonight. So he hates himself for not doing it, obviously. Don't worry, I understand. Hang in there. So there must be something going on now. This is our day over. Now we're gonna go home. And again, pretty much like in papers, please, you go home, you have your own shit going on at home. And then you're going back to work for day two. But this is still day one. Let's go home. Time to head home. Now this is our home screen. This is our house. And oh, incoming call. Roger Haley. or Hay I think it's Haley he wants us to say. So let's answer it. Roger Haley. So busy day then. Internal yell. I picked up now, dad. What did you want to talk about? So that's his dad. Okay, very good. I picked up now, dad. What did you want to talk about? How long has it been since I saw you? Two years? Three? You know that you know why it is. You can't call out of nowhere and expect everything to be fine. So obviously there was some bitter shit going on. You know why that is. You can't call out of nowhere and expect everything to be fine, dad. Oh, okay, H how's that promotion coming along? 
Dad, it's been a rough day. Was there something you needed to talk about? So he's very rude, but there's obviously some shit that happened, which we don't know yet. Watch your hail. No, no, everything's fine over here. Are you sure? You sound different. Oh, of course I'm. F Vincent, st stupid question. Anyway, I have to go. Early start tomorrow, and I don't want to interrupt you. Good night, son. So there's some things going on. The father feels really bad. Okay, Lee Branch. Who's Lee Branch? Hi, Lee. What can I do for you? Or what can I do for you? Hey, hey, it's my favorite customer. Tell me you knocked that big promotion out of the pack. That's how I imagine him to speak, because he interrupted me. Well, it's kind of compli- He is an interrupterating guy. Wait, what am I thinking? This is Vinny Haley. Of course you did. See, that's the thing. Because if you hadn't, you wouldn't be able to pay me back by the end of the week. Aha, <laughs> wise guy, I see. And the Vinny I know wouldn't be able to live with himself if he messed around a friend like that. I love it. The sarcasm, the sarcasm meter just exploded. Lee, I'm not sure if I'll be... Don't worry, Vinny. I know you're a smart guy. Super smart. You know that a person in my position, in my profession, can't let their generosity be taken advantage of, right? I, I, I know that, Lee. But it's sad, but sometimes people think that. Sometimes they think they can get away with it, too. I think I'll just take it like some pussy. Crazy, ain't it? Lee. But like I said, you're not like them, Vinny. This friendship you and me have got, sacred. Right, buddy? Love you, Vinny. Catch you next week. Ciao. So he's obviously, he probably has an issue with something, either alcohol or gambling, I have no idea. And he's sitting on his couch like his apartment looks like shit, so it's one or the other. And he probably owes money to some gangster mob. Down here in the bottom left corner, we can see the department uh, statistics again, so we can look at them from home. I assume they will become more important as the game goes on, otherwise I don't see why we would look at them at home. Uh, uh, things are gonna uh, obviously evolve from here. This was only the first day. Now there's nothing left to do but to go to bed and go to the second day. But I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to more because this game is going to look promising. It actually, I think, went over nearly 400% of its funding on Kickstarter. I'm going to link the page below so you get all the details. Now, the fund, obviously, the Kickstarter is over, but there you can see the, the trailer, all the details about the game, the plans, all the uh, milestones they reached and the extra things they're going to put in the game. It's going to be awesome. I hope so anyway. So and I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was Need to Know, the mass surveillance thriller game, Early Alpha, called The Skeleton Key by Monomyth Games. And if if you did enjoy it remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys next time and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaz and happy gaming just nearly fucking forgot that and let's just go into second day